it looks so deadly. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. Which means it's not a Therian. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. Oh, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, no turning back now. Damn it, this wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, but training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One wrong move and you're done for. I know, that's the fun part. I'll finish this. See this? Pressure! See this? Jay Wade! This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? I'll do whatever it takes. That's my way. Sabine! Yeah. I see you're out for blood, as usual. You knew, didn't you, Isaac? Out of my way. What? Are you protecting the dragon? She's not a dragon! Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. <sighs> Got away. <sighs> that hurts, babe. Here we hadn't seen each other in so long. Hold it. Is that dragon someone you knew? I told you, she's not a dragon. Check out my pecs, and the dragon have some kind of close ties. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said. But how could that be? When Malakim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. So you're saying that dragon was a Malak Zavid once knew? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. But do Malakim put out malevolence like humans do? No. Not by themselves, they don't. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. What about you, kiddo? You feel anything weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. 
Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. By stripping their Molochim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcist seem to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Can a dragon ever be changed back into a Moloch? Nope. Just like with demons, there's no going back. Do they still hold on to some part of who they were? You saw that dragon. What do you think? Well, that's... But Zavid still won't kill it. Must be his creed at work. Aizen, listen. Whatever business you and Zavid have with that dragon, I don't care. Do what you have to. But I won't tolerate you getting the rest of us involved in it again. Do I make myself clear? You've got it. Good. Now, let's get back to the Therian hunt. We'll regroup in Titania. If what Aizen said is true, then could I wind up as a dragon someday? Or Aizen too? I don't... I don't know. You can't come in. And if you do, I'll eat you. It's not just your room, you know. You took an oath to obey my every command if you lost our fight. And I'm commanding you to wait just a little longer. <sighs> what are you doing out here in the hall? I left to go out on a little errand, but when I came back, Velvet shut me out of our room. I've been standing here for over half an hour, but she seems no closer to letting me in. I don't know what to do. Any idea what she's doing inside there? No, I don't have a clue. All I can tell you is that sometimes I can hear something like deep breathing and soft moaning. Well, she must be doing something in there she doesn't even want a fellow woman to see. Something she doesn't want seen. Do you think maybe she's weighing herself? Even if you allow for getting undressed and then dressed again, there's no chance it takes half an hour to weigh yourself. Could she be putting on makeup? I've been yelled at for barging in on that before, although not by Velvet. That's just because you're a guy. I hardly think Velvet would have a problem with me seeing that. This is no time to just stand there lollygagging, kiddo! Velvet is obviously in great danger this very minute! Her life is hanging in the balance! She's right! You know Velvet! Never letting her weaknesses show! She probably kicked Madame Eleanor out because she didn't want anyone to see her in such bad, bad pain. That would explain the heavy breathing and moaning, too. Now that you mention it, right before I left, she had a stiff expression and she did not look well. Well, kiddo, are you going to abandon her in her time of need? The moment to test your mettle has come at last! Test... my mettle. Will you go in there or won't you? The fated decisive hour has finally arrived! Velvet! What is it, Fee? Huh? Well, I thought you might die. So I... So I... Seriously? A little cleaning isn't gonna kill me. But you were looking pale. And we could hear you breathing strangely and making weird sounds. I don't think I was breathing strangely. Then what was that noise? It sounded like... <sighs> <sighs> when you're cleaning glass, you breathe on it first, don't you? Then what about the moaning? The inn has this room cleaned regularly, but they missed a lot of the details. When I looked at the cups, I saw they still had tea stains from whoever drank out of it last. That's enough to make anybody moan in disappointment. Oh, I see. 
but if you told me you were cleaning the room, I would have offered to help you now. Everyone has their own unique way of cleaning things, so in the end it's just faster to do it myself. My sister had her own ways, and I'm sure you do too, right? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'm finished so you can come back in again. Whew, what a relief to have that all done. Keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Aizen. I's got a letter for you. A letter? Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. What did you do, Aizen? No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? If I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine. But uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. If you collect a set of four, you find happiness. Or oh, so they said. Nowadays, there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Even worse, nobody hardly knows nothing about them. Dolls of the Empyreans? Do you think they're like that one we saw of Aminoch in that shop in Isolt? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How can I describe it? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> That's perfect! I... think I get it. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Aizen. Think they'll help keep the Reaper away? Probably not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Her? Hey, that letter Aizen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Our little Luffy said is growing up. N no I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Mogilu! Hmm. So that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. I saw Benwick and the other crew members get into a serious fight over whether cats or dogs were better. I don't get what the big deal is. I can't believe you could say such a thing! No conflict is more perilous than the one that has dogged mankind since the dawn of civilization! In the shadow of every war are the battles of dog lovers and cat lovers. Between each side lies a divide, maybe not all that deep, but unbridgeable all the same. I'd say we're lucky that the squabble you saw didn't escalate into anything more serious. I had no idea it was such a big deal. So what side do all of you fall on? I am, without a doubt, a cat person. Cats and witches have a long history together. Personally, I prefer dogs because they can cohabit with humans while following rules. But I like cats too, because they're cute. What about you, Rokuro? Shigure liked cats, so I don't. But I like dogs even less. Always wagging their tails for their masters. <laughs> I feel the same way. Dogs will trade anything for food. Learning tricks, wagging their tails, getting friendly, and in time, even forgetting to howl. I think that's too cynical. Dogs make efforts to please humans so that we can live together. They're friendly and compassionate creatures. Then does that make you a cat person, Aizen? Actually, I like squirrels best. When I lived with my sister, the nearby forest had lots of nice, fluffy squirrels that would let me pet them. This isn't about squirrels. It's about cats and dogs. You have to pick a side. If I had to choose, yeah, it'd be cats. 
There's something lovable about the way they act, especially when you spoil them. Reminds me a lot of my sister. What about you, Velvet? Cats or dogs? Dogs. They don't betray you. You always have to be so serious, don't you? So Velvet and Eleanor like dogs, while Mogilu and Aizen prefer cats. And Rokuro doesn't care for either one. That makes you our tiebreaker, kiddo. The fate of this showdown is in your hands. It is? Now that you're no longer the Abbey's dog, perhaps you're thinking of being one for Velvet's column? What has that got to do with anything? We're just talking about which animal we like. If you're getting so angry over this, he's going to have no choice but to pick dogs. I just told you- No more fighting! This is clearly getting out of hand, so why don't you all agree that you're Bienfu people and make up already? And what makes you special enough to have Bienfu people? Because I can be loyal like a dog, but also do my own thing like a cat. If you pick me, everybody wins. I don't think it works that way.